Hey guys, it's Gaming American Guy. Uh, I'm, I decided to make a video about USB Loader GX themes. So if you're wanting to customize your USB Loader, if you've been using it for a while and you want something a little bit more different, you can just follow along with this video. This is not a home theme thing. I'm not into that kind of stuff. I don't feel like breaking my Wii. So hit that like button, subscribe. Once this video is over, give me some feedback. I want to know if this is a good tutorial or not. So let's get into it. So first what you're going to need is your SD card and a homebrewed Wii with USB Loader GX on it. You'll need that first. And then after that, you just uninstall your SD card and then what you do is put it into your system I'll show you that I have mine in my system it's right here USB drive K I have all my homebrew stuff and yeah so now what you're going to need to do is go into this website I'll put a link in the description it's called bits that bite dot com and you can look at all these themes they have a whole entire variety right up here they're all just alphabetical, alphabetical if you are interested in that kind of stuff but I'm gonna show you guys an example I'm gonna click dark GX V2 zip that's the one that I wanna download you can choose any of the other ones off the site it's going to bring you up to a USB drive link. You'll see it gives you these two files right here. You want to hit this button which downloads it. Just give it a second. Right now it's exporting the download. Okay. It's like it's loading it to the downloads. Yep, there we go. It's downloading right there. This is your file that you want to look at. You have these right here. But in my drive list, I'm going to go right in here, go to... Actually, I'm going to go right in my drive. And I'm going to add a folder. And I'm going to name it themes. You don't necessarily have to name it themes. Oh, put two of these. But you don't need have you don't need to name it themes. You can name it whatever you want, but I just I just do themes. So you go into that folder, you go in here, extract it, whatever. I just opened it and what I do is I'll take this, drag it over which will copy the items. Just copy it. It'll take just a few seconds. There you go. You got your dark theme right here. You can also do this. Just if you want to, you could. It doesn't matter how many you do. You just have to do it the same thing, same order. Like oh oh yeah, dark moon or ooh that one's actually pretty cool. I actually might just use that one. I didn't see that one. The dark NES. I'll download this one again doesn't take any data at all. It only takes like a few, I would say probably a couple me megabytes. That's it to download. Give it a few seconds. Start downloading. Let's go download it. It's going like right now. It's at a little bit over two megabytes. It's a little bit bigger of a theme. Apparently, and you want to open that file, and right here I'm gonna open my themes tab along with it, and I am going to go right in here. It's in here. Okay, you just have your stuff right there, but. 
all I need. I don't need this folder. I need these two right here. Drag those over. Looks like this one is a little bit over, probably. Yeah, three megabytes. Give it a second here. This is if you want to download multiple themes. Then you're going to have your two themes right here. You can check if they're there. Yep, they're both there. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my drive. I just have my themes folder there. I'll see you guys over at the Wii. Oh, yeah, also, eject it. I have my Wii, my computer is right there, but we have our SD card, I just have a, I have a micro SD card with an adapter, you can use anything this size, just regular SD, so what you do is put it in your Wii, like so, adds it to your Wii, which now, what you do is stick your remote, I'll select USB loader. Let that load up. And then what you guys want to do is go down into your settings right here. Then you're going to pick uh, custom paths, theme path. You want to go into your SD card, hit your themes, folder, whatever you named it. Then hit OK. Your path will be changed. You leave that. And then you go over, right one, go to theme menu. Then you'll have your two themes right here you can choose from. So I'm going to choose my dark NES. It says if I want to buy it. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so this theme's installed now. Now I have my theme right here. And then anytime I can just go back, go back to the theme menu, go back. And if I want this one, I can hit buy. Yeah, I'll apply that one. So. This is a quick tutorial for 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, whatever, do all those things. And if I get like a couple or something like that, I'll start making more tutorial videos, like how to homebrew your channel without an SD card and all that for 2020. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.